Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you 16 websites that pay $100 or more per blog post or article that you write for them in 2017. And these are in all kinds of different categories, so pretty much no matter what you might want to write an article about, you can get paid $100 from these websites doing it. So, um, the first one is e-commerce insiders and they basically focus on online retail and commerce so if you want to write something along those lines right now as of me making this video they're not accepting new applications but you might want to go ahead and read through there maybe bookmark this page because they are going to open back up um, probably fairly soon so it's one of those uh, websites where they don't always accept them but they do um, periodically throughout the year so you might want to read through that and this is basically how they pay you $75 for every 400 to 600 word article 125 for greater than 600 words and uh, so on so as far as that goes they pay very well it's all about e-commerce and online retail and they are a fairly well-known website in that category another one that you can do that will pay you hundred dollars or so to write for is listverse and listverse is one that just covers a lot of different things it's more of a generalized site um, they have you know stuff about travel stuff about history stuff about um, you know all kinds of things you know relationships whatever you can really think of and they actually pay you via PayPal or Bitcoin a uh, hundred dollars for your articles so that's nice and you can go to listfirst.com get to the right and get paid uh, page and I'll have uh, links to these pages for you in the show notes but this basically allows you to get paid a hundred dollars or so for about a 1500 word or more article so if you like to just write about general things they you know you can see some of these categories up here uh, general knowledge lifestyle science society entertainment bizarre weird stuff and of course there's even more than that so uh, list first would be another one that you might want to check out if you want to get paid hundred dollars per article another one is Viator travel blog I hope I said that right but um, they allow you to write about travel obviously and you can get paid fairly well to do it about forty dollars to hundred fifty dollars per article but um, they have pretty good potential for making that hundred dollars or more you want to get around one thousand to two thousand words per article on this site you need to go to this write for us page and join their writer database to be able to do this of course and it's all about travel so if you like writing about traveling and things like that you know this covers all around the world it's not just like traveling in a certain region like some other blogs but um, Viator travel blog would be a great choice number four is UX booth so UX booth this is the contribute page where you would need to uh, fill out what you want to write about your information and things like that but they um, they do articles about user experience and things like that like how design affects user experience um, you know usually internet based things like that um, there's all kinds of things like analytics and uh, design and these types of articles so if you like to talk about user experience usually kind of business based articles then UX booth might be a good one for you they pay a hundred dollars pretty much flat per article that gets submitted and um, published and 
they're an authority in the whole user experience part of the industry. So uh, you want to go for about 1,200 to 1,800 words as far as the range for how much you want to write, which is pretty much the norm. If you want to make about $100 per article, you're going to need to write fairly lengthy articles, but it's usually not too hard to get to that point. So you can kind of see more here about what they want, some questions to consider, like what do you want to share with readers? Who is your audience? How did you learn about this? What else has been written on this topic? What examples can you think of that support your main point? There's the 1218 word length I mentioned earlier and things like that. So um, they pay well and it's all about customer experience with UX Booth. Another one is the layout. So if you want to write for the layout, you may want to um, write something that has to do with WordPress design because that's pretty much what their main focus is. And you can make about $150 per article, as you can kind of see on this page here. And a few things they're looking for, all obviously basic grammar, uh, industry experience, a positive, informative uh, voice, you can apply here by putting in your name, your website, Twitter handle, and all that type of stuff. The nice thing about it is they do pay you via PayPal here. So that's an easy way to get paid. Um, and that's really nice as well. So it's all about WordPress design, um, which, of course, if you don't know WordPress design, it's basically what all these main websites are made of. They make up almost 30% of the entire internet now, and that's basically what all modern blogs are built on, is WordPress. So, if you like design, if you like uh, the design of websites and things like that, then this would be a great place to apply to write with. Number six is Money Pantry, and Money Pantry is another one that, it's all about ways to make money and save money and things like that. Um, or you could call it a personal finance blog, I guess, if you want. And it's a very friendly, informative style. You don't want to uh, take any major, you know, stances politically or anything like that or do anything controversial on this blog. They won't accept that. But you can earn $150 per post and... You don't have to be like an experienced freelance writer, as you can see. They don't expect that. Um, aim for no less than 700 words. Uh, they generally prefer 1,000 to 2,000 words, which, you know, as you can see, is the uh, kind of sweet spot for making $100 per article. It's 1 to 2,000 words, usually. And if it has something to do with money, basically, they uh, would like to hear your thoughts. So you can see some of their most... Uh, read articles here on the side, 40 shopping hacks that'll save you thousands, uh, amazing ways for stay-at-home moms to make money, 40 sites that pay you for things you already do, Amazon hacks to save money, those types of things, that's what they basically focus on, saving money, making money, managing money, things like that. So um, if you want to go through this page, I'll have a link to it for you, but this is a great blog to write for money pantry has a lot of traffic and it's all about money number seven is called women on writing or wow for short so if you want to write about um writing basically and uh you are a woman that's typically who they're looking for then this would be a great blog for you to uh write for so you can get paid up to $150 for an up to 3,000 word article. And it's geared for women that offer inspiration, instruction, online workshops, basically education about a lot of different things. It's all about writing and helping writers. And um, they have all kinds of different categories. Uh, certain categories pay better than others. and depending on how long the article is also will have a big impact on it so you know they have um, $50 articles you can do 
you can do like a regular how-to post that's 1500 to 2000 words that'll get you about $75 you can do an ins inspiring post of the same length for about $75 uh, feature interviews up to 3,000 words for $75. Feature articles are the ones that get paid 150 or more. So about $150 for featured articles. And um, so if you can write a really popular article that can do really well on the site, you think, then you can get paid about $150 for that. So this is the place where you would submit it. This is where you can uh, read about their guidelines and things like that. Number eight is Thriving Families. So Thriving Families, is, as you can tell, is all about things like uh, family writing and things like that, which surprisingly there are quite a few blogs that will pay very good money for articles about families. So apparently it's very popular, but they pay starting at 25 cents per word. If you write a 1,200 to 1,500 word article, you should do pretty well. Um, and of course, you may even write even more than that. So they pay pretty well. And it's all about family and all types of family topics like stages, media, faith, living, all that type of stuff. You can see their categories right down here and uh, see more topics, subtopics within those and things like that. They even do um, things like holidays. They do stages of um, your kids growing up and how to parent them and things like that. Different sizes of families. So if you like writing about family, you want to get paid uh, around $100 or so to write an article, then um, Thriving Family would be a great option for you. Number nine is Scary Mommy. So Scary Mommy um, is another one that will pay you. It's more of a um, site about parenting, humor, and things like that. So if you um, want to talk about parenting and stuff, but you want to do more of a comedic uh, spin on things like that, then you might want to consider writing for Scary Mommy. So you can go to scarymommy.com, go to this page here called Write for Scary Mommy. You can Google that or I'll also have the link for you. But um, this will basically give you what you need to know on here and what you could uh, do to get published and get paid to write for them. So um, they have licensing terms and things like that. You need to email your submission to submit at scarymommy.com. Um, you want to you want to have your own bio and things like that. So it's it's very uh, you know basic as far as that goes. And they pay a hundred dollars flat per article. And uh, basically, their idea is that you don't have to be a perfect mom. So it's kind of like funny things that. Uh, a mom would do so probably if you're a woman this would make more sense for you if you're a guy this may not be the best choice but um, if you have some funny moments some funny ideas about being a mother and not being a perfect mother that can be some great topics to cover on this blog Number 10 is the Motley Fool. So the Motley Fool is more about investing and things like that. So if you go to the Motley Fool, it's actually a very well-known website, actually very famous, and it helps investors make the most of their money and it has all kinds of financial advice and things like that. They pay $100 for articles that are, as they put it, analytically sound, thoughtful, and well-written. So you need to kind of know what you're doing to get published and get paid to do this on The Motley Fool. But um, if you publish multiple posts, you might be offered a contract for long-term work. So if you do pretty well, this could open up some major doors for you as far as long-term work and security with The Motley Fool, where you actually get a contract. So uh, this is their submission page. You can see all their openings here and uh, read more about them 
perks and benefits and things like that, but um, they definitely can be a cool company to write for, and they pay pretty good. Number 11 is Cosmopolitan Magazine. So if you want to write for um, if you want to write for them, then this is all about uh, memorable, crazy, funny college experiences and things like that. As you can as you can see there, they typically want nothing more than 800 words. So that's nice that they don't expect you to write almost a short story in length like a many other uh, websites do when they say they'll pay you a hundred dollars or so so you can make a lot more per word with cosmopolitan than many of the other ones the thing is you need to be able to write about college experiences whether they were funny memorable uh, crazy touching whatever it is so if you can if you have some interesting stories about college and things like that you need to of course you have a long form to fill out but you can make good money and um, it's with a big site so you can get uh, seen by quite a few people because of their massive amount of traffic number 12 is iPhone life magazine so you may or may not have heard this but it's kind of a branch off of Berkeley so um, the thing is it's all about iPhones if you uh, are a die, die hard iPhone fan if you are someone who pretty much has always had iPhones and never wanted anything else you know the ins and outs of them you have a lot of opinions and uh, tips tricks and things like that about them um, how to things with apps and other iPhone gear and stuff like that is kind of what they're looking for and they will pay fifty to one hundred dollars per article so these are their submission guidelines here it's on it's kind of a branch off of Berkeley journalism but it's called tech reporter iPhone life magazine so um, typically they want someone who has a background in writing or journalism of some sort and obviously an enthusiasm for Apple products so um, if you've had some other writing gigs in the past then you may be able to get some uh, things published with iPhone Life magazine number 13 is Salon and Salon is a news media website and it is a publicly traded company and they regularly have freelance writers which is great for you because that means they have uh, quite a bit of experience paying people like you to write articles for them so this is their submissions page you can email your submission to uh, different branches of the site depending on the category as you can see the categories are here on the emails as well as the top here in the header so news, politics, entertainment, life, innovation, and things like that are their main categories. And they pay at least $100 per article. So you may even make more if you do very well. And they are kind of more known for political commentary, uh, social trending essays and things like that very high quality writing so you need to be a good writer you need to make sure you go over it a few times and edit it before you submit it but salon can be a great place to make some extra money number 14 is the big round table so the big round table let me refresh this page for you is another place where you can submit a story and the nice thing about that is they have a tab here where you can just click to submit a story and uh, much easier to find of course than many of these other pages where you have to do a lot of searching to find their submissions page but they are kind of a new publisher that wants true stories they want to give more power to storytellers and people who can tell stories um, they think are the most powerful and the, mo the most moving type of people so 
They want to get as many people as possible to tell good stories, short stories, of course, and uh, you can get paid a minimum of $100 for when you um, submit them and get them published. And they have a donate button. They have a donate button on all of their articles where readers can actually send the writer money directly. So that's another thing that's really nice is the better your stuff is, the more you'll get donations from uh, fans of your writing. So that's the nice thing about Big Round Table. So it's all about stories. Number 15 is Polygon. So Polygon, if you want to write freelance for them, get paid pretty well per article there. Um, you want to write engaging stories based on video game artists, uh, fans, and video game culture. They pay about 25 cents per word. Um, so that's $125 for a 500 word article, in other words. So they do pay very well. 25 cents per word is a solid pay. And like I said, it's all about video games and things like that. So if you like, if you like talking about that, different gamers, uh, communities of gamers, whatever it is related to that, then, um, you know, they tell you what they're looking for here, um, how to pitch them. You send it to a guy named Matt who will look it over usually. Um, typically, the best ones range from 1,000 to 5,000 words. So that's another thing you might want to keep in mind. But it's all about video games and you can make uh, 25 cents per word, which is a very good pay scale. And last but not least is HowlRound. So HowlRound is all about um, theater and performance. They pay up to $150 per article. Obviously, that depends on the category, so you might want to do a little research on the categories, but this is their page where you can learn more about writing for them and if you want to write for the journal you can kind of go through this typically they want something 1500 to 2000 words long um, they want them to be very professional they are rigor rigorously edited as you can see there um, for that's for essays for for their uh, blog posts 750 to 1000 words they pay about 50 bucks. So you want to go for more of an essay if you want to make more, at least $100, um, and things like that. So they have other things that you can do as well, but mainly you're probably going to want to look at their essay parameters and see if you can get some stuff published for that. But if you don't mind taking a little less, you could do a few blog posts maybe. And those typically get submitted faster. So. They have plenty of information on here. Also, if you speak Spanish, they have plenty of that there at the bottom. But um, as far as just getting paid to write about theater and the arts, then you can get paid pretty well using HowlRound and submitting articles there. So other than that, that's it for this video. If you feel like you got something from this video, if you feel like you uh, got a little value from it, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know about some other art, some other uh, article submission sites where you can get paid a hundred dollars or more, minimum, then um, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Love to build on this topic for people so they have as many options as possible. Also, I'm also um, into getting feedback. I love getting feedback to help me improve these videos for you. So that's welcome as well in the comments. And all of the links that I mentioned, all of the show notes and related content to this video will be at selfmadesuccess.com. You can go there for that. All of that will be on one page. And I'll also have a link to that page in the video description in the coming days. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.